what's up what's good what's going on family so let's jump straight in and get a daily increase for my lovely Sagittarius guys this is going to be for your uh, Sag Sun Moon Rising North Node Venus but especially that ninth house there are very particular messages here on the Mandula Awakening for their ninth house placements and or transits but even with that being said guys these are general messages just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest okay my love all right, Spirit, what energy is on offer for my lovely Sagittarians today? I'm feeling progression. <clears throat> I'm feeling progression. But let's see, Spirit, what's going on for my lovely... What energy is on offer for Sagittarius today? What energy is on offer, Spirit? Thank you. Who we got the violet... Y'all, don't play with it. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Y'all, what was the most important thing on the other side of a last daily increase? The violet flame. And that's the energy that's on offer today. Y'all, y'all can't tell me. Y'all can't tell me that spirit ain't working with the Sagittarian Ninth House Collective right now. Y'all, on the last daily increase, on the other side, if you took advice on a daily increase, what was on the other side was the Five of Swords. But in the particular deck that I used... It was the uh, five of angels and it was labeled withdrawal and she's standing inside of the violet flame. And so that's what we talked about. Go watch it. Y'all, St. Jeremiah. <laughs> What's up, Professor? Uh, the violet flame. Alchemy. Release the old. Make way for the new. What's up? What's up? Wow. Wow. Look, Sag. This is a sacred uh, connection, synchronicities, divine connection, understanding lessons, openness, liberation. Let yourself love and be loved. Y'all, Sagittarius is opening up. There's a, yeah, yeah, there's a breakthrough here. Yeah, there's a breakthrough. Like what you have thought and considered to be a boundary was really a wall. And I feel like that somebody's wall is crumbling down. Somebody's wall around Jericho. I, I think that's how it go. Ooh, yeah. Okay, let me let me see. What's up, girl? All right, spirit. The violet flame is what's on offer for Sagittarius. Alchemy. Release the old and make way for the new. What's the situation here, the Sagittarius? What's the situation here with this violet flame? Thank you, spirit. Venus, beloved. I could particularly be particularly be speaking to someone um, that has a Sagittarius in their Venus. Okay. But look here, Sagittarius expand. Oh my goodness. This is the situation. Venus beloved is it, it's expanding. It's, it is, it's like you're setting your sights on something outside of your reach. Yet you understand that you have the capacity to still grasp it. Oh Lord. Ooh. Okay, Spirit, talk to us. We open. Thank you, Spirit. Where we going? Y'all don't forget to smash this thumbs up button if y'all feeling these messages. What's the lesson here on the daily increase for my lovely Sagittarian Ninth House Collective? Thank you, Spirit. Discipline. The lesson is discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. <laughs> Did I just say that? <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to calm down. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So this is really saying that um in in in, in the instance is this is the lesson. So let's let's acquire the lesson so we can get out of the cycle. And what it's saying what, what's going on right now is that you're expanding your Venus your Venus energy is expanding at this time. It's going to require discipline. And in order for you to really uh, embody this discipline that is needed as you are expanding is to understand that when something arises, instead of me going straight to blaming somebody, how can I, what is it that I need to extract from her? Where is the responsibility and accountability for me at so that I can grow and then thus move forward? Okay. That's what this is really saying here um, with blame at the bottom of the deck. Yes. See, there is a, a, there is a relationship that is in your energetic space where blame 
is being pointed. And in and, and it's not maybe it may not even be blame, but that's what the card says. But I just feel like that there's so much trying to it's a resistance. It's a resistance to seeing what what applies to you. Okay, spirit saying say it. I wasn't gonna say this because I ain't trying to offend y'all, but some I'm gonna offend some of y'all and just know that I'm saying it with love, but let me get to it. I was in bed the other day and I was thinking about these readings and some of the comments that get left behind on them. And I was like, hmm, why is it that they always see the X in the readings? Why is it that the X is always popping up? Spirit said, because lessons, Kiana. I was like, what? Okay, then spirit was spirit just ripped the bandaid off and was like, every person that you encounter is a reflection of yourself. Therefore, that reflection has a lesson to teach you. So maybe the reason that we're always seeing that toxic ex and we're not seeing new love in the reading is because we haven't learned the lesson of the toxic ex because we're too busy blaming the toxic ex. And so I do feel like that even though Sagittarius, there's some of us that have felt like we have released the next or whatever the case may be, maybe there is still some energy tied up in there where um, some of these readings where I speak on them, maybe, and you automatically go to putting the X in that position, maybe that's your position. And maybe spirit is only giving you that position so you can grow. Ain't no maybe to it. That's what it is. But there's a resistance to taking to to stepping into that position. Okay, that's I thought about that, and I, I got and that's what I got. And I was like, wow, that's <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's the surrender message here for my lovely Sag? Spirit say, what you put them back on? You don't need them. And I'm not, okay. <laughs> Respectfully and humbly. Surrender the need to always be right. There's a lesson. But the way that the comp the way that the lesson is being is setting on your doorstep, it's like, nah, that package don't belong here. I ain't order that. Mm -mm. That ain't the that ain't the package I ordered. And spirit is like. But it is. <laughs> I don't think you read the fine print. But it says, give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielded, not rigid. This will help resolve conflict and improve relationships. So, whereas someone may have crossed you, absolutely. No one's asking you to put that on the back burner and discredit that or anything. But there is a need to at least, here's the thing. Everything in your life happens for a reason. So if you're gifted an opportunity for someone to have a discussion with you, and um, there's, there's a need to hear somebody out. Period on period on period. Spirit just said that, just as clear. There's a need that you're going to have to hear someone out. You don't even feel like, you don't even feel like that, you should have to listen to this because respectfully they was out of line <laughs> like i'm like respectfully this I'm, i don't even have any cards out here and y'all gonna have to come to the other side if you want to dive in to find out exactly who this is and exactly what this is but you'll know enough by the end of this reading but here's what i'm telling you give others the gift of letting them be right somebody is coming at you and saying hey yo this ain't even, <clears throat> this wouldn't even be the case. I just, this wouldn't even be the case. But I feel like you left me with no option. And see, you're not understanding that maybe your response to them did put them in a position of no other offer. I mean, option. So because of being put in a position of no other option, it's almost like they betrayed you. And, and, and then you take it as a double whammy. Okay? So just take that into consideration. Let's get the tarot out here so we can... But I will say this. Yeah. Um, 
We do have surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go of the ideas about yourself that originate from your past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. So spirit ain't trying to give you this message to get you to play small. Spirit is actually trying to give you this message to let you know that you're giving your power away by not hearing somebody out. You're not, a, because then it's like, um, but humility will further your go. There's definitely something about humility is needed here because these are my surrender. These are the surrender messages. Um, so there is this need to surrender being rigid and like, nah, I know I, it's like, you know, who somebody is and spirit allows you to know who someone is for a reason. Okay. That's been established this week already. If you watch the videos on the channel, it doesn't make them useless. However, the universe will let you see what you need to see so that you can act accordingly. That does not mean to become rigid in what you still have a perception let me let me i'm gonna get to the card job but spirit is saying telling me that somebody yes somebody's having a difficulty understanding that your wish fulfillment look different it look different and you just gonna have to get used to, you gonna have to get used to that but okay so look I have a very special friend that i will always hold in a special position because of this storyline so one time um like I wanted children so bad. I wanted children so bad, especially after I lost my twins. I really wanted tw children. And so um, when I got with my uh, daughter's father, every time that we was, you know, intimate or whatever, I would always worry about the period and stuff like that, right? And so I, would, I had this friend and I would always call her and tell her. Well, one day God was revealing to me who this friend was. And um, the friend pocket dabbed me. And she was talking to somebody. Talking about, girl, this girl get on my nerve. I always thinking she's pregnant. Ever since she lost them twins, that's all she want is a baby. And she think every time, it's not nobody want to hear that shit all the time. And there's a whole lot that I can say behind that. But because God revealed a lot about, uh, a lot on the other side to me, I respectfully respect her opinion. Okay? Now, at that time, I couldn't. And I had completely put this person in a position, honey, that I was, uh-uh. <laughs> you don't get to talk about Kiki behind my back and smile in my face and ask me to be in certain positions in your life, right? But then God put me in another position and I would have been in a situation completely by myself had that friend had not been there for me. So God was using that event. It's a position that I was forced to that I had endured up until that moment by myself. God was asking me, how much do you want to continue to go by yourself? Or do you want to see the position? Do you want to see the effects of change? I just seen 13, 13 on the timer. And that is the death card transformation. <laughs> do you want to see the power of transformation and allow somebody in? Now, I don't mean I let this girl back in the way that I used to. But I also didn't discredit her. I didn't, I didn't deem her as useless anymore to me. You know what I'm saying? You're experiencing something like that. Okay. You're exp okay. So this is the Ace of Wands. I feel like that what this is really saying is that in this in this card says, "Don't you see how passion makes you glow?" What for one, this is saying that if you can accept the feeling that you're feeling right now, you're going to ignite that, that that passion inside of you is about to be ignited. If you can accept what you're feeling when I'm saying what I'm saying. Now, I also want to go along and say that every single ace in the card, the solid yes is an ace of swords. But the ace of wands is a yes to what I just said to you as well. Ace of pentacles, ace of cups, all that shit. You have to you have to take some sort of action. But there is the potential to, to ground something, to stabilize something, to secure something for the generational legacy, for the generational long term. There's an opportunity to secure that in this current energetic uh, daily increase, okay? All right, Spirit, let's see. What are the five cards to get Sag in a winning position? What are the five cards to get Sag in a winning position? Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> 
the four of pentacles. The opportunity is the hierophant. <laughs> the challenge, the moon card. I'm going to read you what these cards say. And then you're going to be like, dang. The way through the challenge, the queen of wands. Or if you know Tarot, then you already know. Kiki, get ready. Turn your volume down. What's on the other side here? The Eight of Wands, Forward Movement. I can't wait to do the next daily increase for Friday. And that's on the end. That, the next daily increase is on Venus. Ooh, a Venus day. Let me stay focused. What's at the bottom of the deck, Spirit? Yeah, hey, beautiful. The Nine of Pentacles. The opportunity here, the, I'm sorry, the situation here, treat yourself to something shiny every now and then. <laughs> the situation here, <laughs> you got to, you know, it says treat yourself to something shiny every now and then. Baby, but what I'm telling you is uh, Spirit is saying receive something. It's treat your heart to something. Receive something that receive something for your heart. Don't be resistant to it. Openness, liberation. Let yourself love and be loved is at the bottom of the deck for the energy that is on offer for you. Saint Jeremiah, it says, Violet Flame, Alchemist, release the old and make room for the new. <laughs> Openness, life, uh, liberation. Let yourself let uh let yourself love and be loved. <laughs> Y'all not following me. Maybe I'm not saying it. Maybe I'm not getting it out to you. Baby. The old is over. It's over. In the moment that you can actually accept that and begin to believe that and not run from the reality of what is over. See, in order to close that cycle out, you got to accept it for what it is and what it was. Okay, because then it's easier to make peace with it. It's easier to make peace with it. But in order to make peace with it, you must be willing to transmute that shit. Alchemy. Sagittarius is temperance. The alchemist of the tarot deck. That's Sag all day long. Something is you're you're giving the opportunity to transmute something inside of this violent flame through this transmutation transmutation. You are able to see someone's true colors. <laughs> and still see why the divine placed them on your journey and not discredit them. <laughs> and once you can finally get this person into their rightful position in your life, baby, the board is open for you to receive the new in its own. It's the um, make way for the new. That's the energy that's on offer for you. New. <laughs> Y'all not listening to me. Y'all not listening to me. The opportunity is to treat yourself. Expand. Welcome this new. Put somebody in the proper position in your life and stop trying to close it out and make yourself not want to accept it. Accept it so that you can know where to position them. Once you get them in position, your house will be cleaner. You know what I'm saying? Your house will be cleaner. That's the thing. The opportunity here is tradition is important, but it doesn't have to be everything. You have to color outside the lines. See, children get to, they, they want to, when you color with a child, they don't color in the lines. But that parent or that older adult that's coloring, all they do, they color right on inside the lines. And so the children decide, like, they like, ooh, that's so pretty. And then they desire to start coloring inside the lines. But I'm going to tell you the real, the real key <laughs> is to color like a child. <laughs> That's the lesson. Color outside the lines. That's where the magic is made. Because in your most creative energy, that's when you're the closest and the most open. <laughs> the most open to the divine. And if you can be open to the divine, you can finally receive that divine connection. Because the real divine connection that you're longing for is with your creator. That's what you need to know. And once you can activate that real thing, <laughs> your needs will be supplied for 
abundantly abundantly i ain't gonna keep going too deep on these daily increases with y'all uh the challenge here though is the moon card the challenge is the moon facing your fears the unknown releasing the need to know everything the only thing that you got to do is is display your discipline i can't accomplish whatever i set my mind to what is available to them is is available to me I don't have to long or want or desire, but I don't have to become envious over nobody. I don't have to want what anybody else wants. I can allow that to inspire me to begin to create my own desires in order to be able to bring my desires into reality that can inspire me. But as far as me longing and becoming envious for what someone else has, that's not where we're manifesting from no more. Okay. So in order to do so, it says take time to deep take time for deep self-reflection is essential see you just spent this message here is for someone that has spent so much time trying to create what someone external told you it's supposed to look like you focus so much on that that you forgot what your own creative energy was telling you you needed and that's the thing that's the champ that is the ultimate challenge here you got to go within and really figure out your true desires and then ask your divine for direct instructions on how to bring that into reality. And then make room to receive it. Okay. And in order for you to do so, you have to go within. You got to consult your higher self. And sometimes your higher self is going to tell you, hey, key, hey, Sag, you out there fucking up. And this is where you fucking up at. And I need you to sit here and not beat yourself up. But I need you to sit here and receive the lesson that I'm trying to teach you so you can stop repeating this lesson. And so we can begin to elevate. But unfortunately, you're going to stay in this cycle right here and let if you're not willing to do the self-reflecting. So the way through this challenge here is to understand. Hold on, baby. I'm the shit. <laughs> hold on, baby. I'm the shit. And even if I did make a, a mistake. Bye-bye. A, a mistake is even gold. Do you hear me? Even that mistake is abundant in my life. The Queen of Wands is your way through this. It says replace any self-doubt with self-confidence. Bye-bye. I am the shit regardless. And the reason that I... And the and I'm not... And, and now look here. Spirit is saying, don't forget, because I did reach back here and I seen this blue. That's what made me look at it. And Spirit is saying... Now you got to tell them, now that you're telling them to get cocky with it, now you got to tell them the difference about ego. You see, here's the thing. You got to surrender that ego. I get your self-confidence comes from trusting in your divine. I can say, I feel like that I can say what I say confidently because I confidently believe huh, that I have done the work to receive messages from my divine. I stay in communication with my divine. Okay. So I know sometimes I may come off as a little cocky to y'all. Mm -mm. I'm confident. I'm confident in my messages from my divine. And I'm com I'm damn sure confident in my relationship with my divine. It ain't always been that way, Sag. I had to work for that. But it's possible. All right? And once you can do all this, what's on the other side? My ears is getting hot, y'all. Once you can face these fears... And step into this self-confidence right here. The eight of wands. Now, tell me if you know why I picked that moon card back up. You see that moon? In fullness. It's in fullness, right? But it also is dark. It's dark out there. A moon is only out in darkness. But if you know how to use that moon, which is the representation of emotions, it will illuminate the darkness for you. And that's what's on the other side. Light a fire underneath your cauldron and go, go, go. <laughs> Beautiful reading, Sagittarius. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Nine of Pentacles. Baby, what's coming in? Like the universe, what it's giving you? Oh, Lord, uh, we're going to talk about that. Come to the extended. This is enough. This is enough. How do I know it's enough? Y'all, because the way that y'all listen to that last daily increase... <laughs> got us this one we you know we on a row here okay but what the universe has on offer for you is the nine of pentacles there is an opportunity that is about to arise in your life and it is going to allow you to pause and savor the results of your success 
All right, baby girl, let's help me start this closing out. What's the message to help wrap this up? What's the message? Out the door, baby. Thank you. Highest good. <laughs> I am a conduit. Change me, divine beloved, into one who can let you act through me. I offer myself to you. May I be a conduit for your blessings. Use me for your highest good. We also have strength. I lean on you. Make me ready to call on you in even the most confusing situations, large or small. Let me include you. May I lean on your strength, knowing your grace can unravel any dilemma. <laughs> and she gave me two, so I wasn't going to pull top and bottom, but she said, uh-uh. We got prosperity here at the bottom of the deck. It looked like it matched to me to the Nine of Pentacles. This is abundance. This is pre-empress. <laughs> Change me, divine beloved, into one who knows you alone are the source of our prosperity. Let me live in gratitude, trusting every need is handled. That alone is true wealth. Nurturing. I am a spark of divinity. Change me, divine beloved, into one who accepts my body exactly as it is, seeing it as a vessel for your love. Fill me with gratitude for this physical form. Let me nurture and care for myself in every way. Y'all, make sure y'all loving on yourself. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Do something that makes you feel good about yourself no matter what is going on around you, okay? All right, spirit. All right, Archangel Michael, can you close this out for me? I definitely feel like uh somebody you got it somebody's in this uh somebody is in a is in a, a stage where you are allowed your emotion eating based off of emotions. And you're not eating good stuff. A spirit is saying don't beat yourself up for that. Switch. Just make a change. Gradual changes. If you like your girl, and baby, y'all know if you've been on the fa if you've been with the family for a minute, baby, you know when when Kiki used to, and it's just, it's when I can say used to, and it's a recent used to. You hear me? But when Spirit used to call me into shadow work, baby, I needed to go to the store. I needed titty rolls, Reese cups. Uh, at that point in time, I was drinking Coca Cola, baby. I need all that. Let me let hold on, Spirit. Before we get here, let me go get my snacks, cause honey, I'm gonna need something to make me feel. <laughs> But I don't even do that anymore. So, but it was a gradual change. Like I would, it, let's just say like that's the bag of titty rolls. Cause baby, it wasn't just no one. Baby, I used to go to the little yellow family store and get the little dollar bag of titty roll. Baby, it was gone in a one journaling session. You hear me? <laughs> I should be ashamed, but I ain't. <laughs> but anywho. You got to, you, like, and then so I went to cut apples. That was what I was trying to say. I went to cut apples. And then I just started increasing my tea. And once I started increasing my tea, you know, when you drink tea, you need water a lot. Because tea has a way of pulling moisture out of your mouth for some reason. Anywho. So I need it. So I started increasing my water. Make small changes, my love. Once you make those small changes, those small changes have side effects that lead you to bigger changes, okay? All right, Archangel Michael, thank you. Can you please close this out for Sag? Thank you. It's time to play. Yeah, that's been coming out too. You're working too hard and worrying about everything. Seek out joyous experience to bring balance into your life. Deeper insights are at hand. Your overall plan is good, but the detail needs work. Reflect before moving forward. And then we also have open up to your spiritual gifts. Remember that your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth. With this message here coming out, <laughs> with these two messages, uh, August 21st could be significant and August 17th. Not August, yeah, August. Anyways, back. Um, is also I want you to know that your intuition is like really 
what you feed your inside is your temple. Like your body is your temple. Let me just say that. Let's just say, let me just keep it real with you. So to receive those messages, they have to have a they have to have a healthy landing ground. So increasing the nourishment of your body will allow you to hear your intuition better as well. My ears have been burning in this reading. So somebody, more than one person in my collective needed to hear this message. All right, y'all. So, but this is where we are actually going to end here at 3020. Absolutely. I'm going to take a little break, y'all. And then I'm going to come sit back down with the exact same cards on the member channel and see what else deepness we can get. We can pull out a little bit more juice out of here so that you can, like, you might have a few questions about some details here. Those are answered over on this second course, okay? That's what it's called. And it will be tagged down in the description box and or the comments. I can't remember. But just go check it out, y'all. I absolutely love y'all. If this message has resonated, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It does help push these messages out into the YouTube algorithm. Also, guys, um, go check out TMA All Signs. And uh, if you would like a personal reading, there is a link down in the description box below. I absolutely love you.